Okay, all right. Hey folks, it's Captain Matt here. Uh, we are really excited about what's going on in the worm uh, business here. And uh, we're about to do something very exciting and I wanted you to be part of it. We're gonna build another worm bin. We have two worm bins over here. This, uh, this the big one over here, I built that uh, two, about two years ago. And uh, the population multiplied and now this, these are um, uh, these are continuous flow bins, and uh, back in October I I built this one. I split my population of worms and put half in here and half in there. And folks, I want to tell you something: these babies multiply. If you take care of them right, I just want you to see something. This is. They're, they're feeding right now, but they, they've all come up for food. They, they are just, we are just populated with worms. And if you take care of them, um, you're going to see multiplication uh, beyond anything that you would ever imagine. So we're getting ready to build another one, and I'm going to take you step by step through the process. And this, today we're going to just show you the pile, our inventory for building it. I put it all together, and uh, we'll show you, we're going to take a look at the uh, pile of uh, building materials here, and, um, and then I'm going to start to build it, and uh, I'll build the frame, and then we'll film the frame, and then I'm going to uh, put the pipes on the, the raking area, or the flow-through area, and we'll, we'll stop and film that, and then we're going to put the sides on, and we'll film that, and show you how to do it. And, the reason I'm doing this is the reality is you can build this, most of you. But if you can't, you probably have a friend who is a carpenter or handy, and after watching this video, I imagine you can pull it together and uh, build one. Worst scenario is you get a carpenter to come in and build you one. They're really simple. And uh, uh, more than anything, the big issue is make sure you give it lots of support on the base, but we'll talk about that uh, so that because you have you'll have almost two tons uh, of bedding and worms in your bin and you're raised up off the ground quite a bit and you don't want the thing to collapse on you. So we'll deal with that and show you how to avoid any of those issues. So here's where we are today. We have our, our material. Um, these are three quarter inch uh, PVC pipes here. <coughs> They're 25 pipes uh, to and that will give me um, all my pipes necessary uh, for the flow through area. Uh, we also have um, framing here, two by four. We have nine two by four by uh, eights. And uh, I use treated lumber because it's carrying the weight of everything. Treated is generally southern pine, a stronger, a much stronger um, material for carrying that weight. We have here. I have three half sheets. I went to Home Depot. I don't have a truck, so I. Went to Home Depot and had to put these in the trunk of my car. Home Depot ripped them down the middle. I bought two sheets of plywood, and the plywood is 9 16 thick. Uh, I, I, nothing fancy because we're going to paint the outside and we're going to put a coating on the inside uh, to keep, the, keep it from rotting. And so I cut those uh, right down the middle. I have an extra one over there, but we have three, and that will uh, build our bin. And then once our sides are up, we use two by sixes. We have three two by sixes here. And the three two by sixes are the ribbon up top. Mark, maybe you could show the ribbon, the top section here. And th this, is, uh, this is the ribbon here. And that gives us the strength up above. And maybe let's get a picture. Come this way, Mark, looking down. And we'll, we'll come down and take a look at the inside. So this is basically what we're building. But the one I'm building will be twice the size of this. This I built for a local worm farmer and uh, a worm enthusiast. And he just wanted to really get a lot of worm castings for his own garden. And he uh, asked me to build it for him, and I did. Uh, we also, I also have screws. I have two and a half inch screws and uh, two inch screws. Uh, the two and a half is for the framing. And um, then we have uh, paint. Uh, I like black, black for the legs and, uh, and uh, a red paint for the base. And that just kind of keeps everything uniform and looking really sharp. So that's it. We, we spend almost $600 on that little bit of material. You know what's going on in the building industry these days. 
everything's very expensive. And so it was just short of $600. Uh, I'll see you again real shortly and we'll have the frame already built and explain to you where we're going from that point. Folks, thanks so much for uh, viewing. I uh, look forward to, to building this and, and putting all this information in your hands. We're worm people. And so we got to stick together and that's what we're going to do here. And uh, see you again real soon, as soon as we get, it, get, get the building going.